You may be wondering why Russia is winning and America is losing. Well, it's very simple. While America's been having an election, Russia has been increasing its influence over previously disloyal nations. We have to look no further than Armenia, who is currently locked into a bitter war with Azerbaijan. The leader of Armenia is getting no support from Russia, despite being close allies with Russia. This is because the ties to Russia were built under the previous administration, who were deposed. So now that Armenia's got a pro-American, well, pro-Western is the more accurate term, leader, they're getting less support from Russia. They're looking to the West. So you know what Russia does? Absolutely nothing. Think of it. They get invaded by Azerbaijan, who Russia has good ties to. And they're not willing to risk their bad ties to help a leader who's showed disloyalty. Of course, if they do nothing, then they can incite unrest, then replace the current leader with the previous leader, thus getting pro-Russia candidate in Armenia and saying to Azerbaijan, hey, we have more leverage over you because we didn't help Armenia. So this is a tactic that Putin has been using quite a bit recently. So let's look at Belarus. Belarus had previously been playing their cards close to their chest with strong man Alexander Lukashenko in charge. Alexander Lukashenko, despite leading a small country, is a big leader, and not just physically. Of course, this is the same man who was elected in the 90s. So you might be wondering, how is he still in charge? Well, it's very simple, putting Belarus first. He's able to stay close with Russia while not being a Serbian neighbour. What does that mean? Well, it means not putting Russia first. Standing on your own, which Lukashenko has been doing very well recently. In fact, he was actually doing a pretty good job at making both sides think that he may switch to the other side. I mean, the EU thought that maybe they could entice Belarus into it, their sphere of the interest and Russia was having bad relations with Belarus. So, there was an election, and B- Lukashenko won. So there's lots of protests. So, What does the West do? Destroy all possible close ties to Lukashenko. So now, Belarus, who was kind of in the middle and could be tempted out of Russia, theoretically, is now strongly in Putin's corner. So now, let's look at America. America is in a bad time because as election years go on and on and on, soon you'll get campaign as soon as you've won the election, which is bad for America. Because instead of being running the country, the president's always thinking of the next year's election. So you may be thinking, oh, this is a good thing. No, because it prevents unpopular opinions and stuff which the public was hesitate to, like a war in Armenia. Of course, if America were to send troops to Armenia, then that will strengthen relations with Armenia and put Armenia in the American corner, which is strong against Russia. Of course, that is what they want to do. And 
they could maybe get I mean into NATO or south or do something similar to NATO. I mean America's fear of influence is vast. I did not mean it would be very valuable and it would mean that Russia is on the back foot. But by not intervening they've let Putin win and they've got inevitable unrest which means America is on a steep decline and that is all.